the primary arms predator. Let's check it out. Guys, I'm bringing you another optic from Primary Arms that's in the ACSS family, and it's the Predator. One of the things about Primary Arms is that they would give you a lot of different options with your reticles. Uh, the ACSS Gen 3 scope body is proven. Uh, they have a lifetime guarantee. It's a 1 to 6, second focal plane. ACSS stands for Advanced Combat Sighting System. And one of the things about the Primary Arms and the ACSS, which is my favorite really quick scope uh, excellent for combat or even for hunting especially for predators you can go from the one magnification which you can get up close and personal but yet you can range out to 6x to be able to get more pinpoint shots but the big advantage of this scope is its reticle system because you can look in the scope and be able to range estimate you can calculate your windage and do all that on the reticle there's no turning of the dials. There's no adjusting. You don't have to worry about your dope. It's a very simple system. And guys, I'm simple. <laughs> and I like simplicity. Now, the 1 to 6 gives you a lot of advantages. Uh, you can go down to, you know, 1X, which will give you up close and personal. I mean, you can immediately CQB type situations, especially when hunting, you know, whether it's coyotes or wild boar. You know, there's a lot of things that can be dangerous out there. But then you've got that six power to reach out to get that distance. Yes, it's bigger than a red dot, but it's much more capable. Uh, and of course, with the reticle system, it really makes a difference. So the one to six is what I like to use on my go-to rifle because it gives you so many advantages. We're going to check the chamber to make sure the gun is unloaded as it is. It's aluminum hard to anodize finish. It's 10 inches in length. It's a 30 millimeter tube. Uh, you have, of course, your windage and elevation knobs. On the other side, we do have illumination. Uh, one of the great things about the illumination is it does red and green. So you can go with either one, especially if you're using a red light for night vision. Uh, you have your adjustment right here, adjustment ring, goes up to six power. It's very smooth, uh, but it does have some tension to it, so it's not easily knocked off. Next, we have our focus ring on the back or the ocular ring, and this allows you to focus in to get a really clear sight picture. And if you have any kind of stigmatism or problems with your eyes, this really makes a difference. We're using the American Defense QD mount. These are reasonably priced and still good solid mounts. The elevation turret underneath does have one of the uh, CR2032 batteries, which these are the common batteries used for scopes. Here we have half MOA adjustments, tactile, and audible. And of course, your elevation knob is the same. And uh, this is toolless adjustment, so it makes it really nice. Now we have the illumination dial, uh, and you can go straight to the green with five power, which is the highest for green, uh, or you can go all the way around and go to the five power with the red. And again, this only illuminates the chevron, uh, but you have a lot of adjustments in between. Now guys, honestly, I do not use uh, illumination during the day. Uh, because it's just not needed. It's difficult to see. Uh, but it actually, even if it's bright power, I really like that etched black reticle contrast. But this does give you a lot of capability. Uh, the knobs are very solid. I mean, they click. They're tactile. And, uh, you know, just excellent. But if you ever leave your battery on, you still have your reticle, which is great. Right here is your battery cap. Uh, CR2032 batteries. Now this is the Primary Arms Gen 3 ACSS body, uh, which they use for all their different scopes in the ACSS line. This is a solid scope. It's nitrogen purged. Uh, the glass is multi-coated. 
very clear glass. In fact, it's, these scopes are actually made in the same factory as your Vortex Optics. And the Gen 3s do carry the lifetime warranty on them. Eye relief at one power is three and a half inches. At six power, it's three and a third inches. So it's a little bit of a variation, but not a big deal. Uh, very easy to get that full view of the optic. I mean, it gives you a full view. It's really nice. Now, this is a diagram of the reticle. Uh, you have your large donut that focuses the eye to the chevron. Uh, one of the keys of chevron tips is that you have an infinity point. Uh, you don't have a dot, whether it's a one or two or three mil dot that covers up your target. You can put that precise point on your target. I love chevron. And then, of course, you have your circles going down below, and that is with range estimation. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then the lines that come off the side are for your wind holdovers. Now the chevron is what is illuminated when you turn your illumination on and it's red or you can choose green on the same scope. Now you sight in your rifle at 100 yards on 6 power and this is 100 yards right at the tip. Uh, for the 200 yard setting it's at the bottom of the chevron and that'll give you 200. For 300 it's the first circle, for 400 the second circle and 500 the third circle. Now this is calibrated so you can use it with 223 which is 100 yard zero. This was tested with 223 VMAX, 55 grain. Then you have 308, which is also 100 yard zero. And then it gives you the information. And you can look uh, at the Primary Arms website to kind of get a better idea of how to sight it in or on your manual. But it's also compatible with 6.5 Grendel. The only difference is at 100 yards, you sight in one inch high. And that's based on 123 grain AMAX. So each circle represents 10 inches at that distance. So the first circle represents 300 yards. That's 10 inches at 300. 400 for the second circle, which you can see that an average coyote, the body from the top to the belly is 10 inches. So you can use this circle to estimate. This can also be used in a tactical situation because of a head. So you, ha you can estimate it that way with the different circles. Now your wind holdovers, as you can see, beside each circle there's just lines that come out the side and those are for five mile an hour winds. Now you'll notice that each side of the donut, the two lines that go either way are for leads. The US military has estimated a man with a rifle is running about 8.6 miles per hour. So once he hits the first part of that lead, you fire and the impact should hit at the right moment. The one thing I love about this reticle is that it's so simple. I love the chevron and the donut that really brings the eye, but the circles that represent 10 inch at those distances really helps you to figure out, you know, even when you're looking at unknown distances, it really gives you a reference point. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for supplying the 223. We're using some 55 grain VMAX. Get a little accuracy going. Get a 5% discount using Suit Zero Zero at the Freedom Munitions website. The one thing that I really love about any 1 to 6 scope is that you can use it as a red dot. On the 1X, bring it up, get to your reticle, especially with the chevron tip that's an infinity point, it just draws the eye. And so up close and personal, you know, it's just a great scope. But then again, if you want to get out to say 500 yards uh, and with more pinpoint accuracy, just run it up to 6, especially in a hunting situation or a tactical situation where you really need to be on. Uh, that's one of the things that this scope does. Now, of course, the tighter in you have it in the 6X, the smaller your field of view is. Bring it back out, it gives you a much wider field of view. You know, one of the things, especially about hunting predators, is they can get up close before you even know it, especially coyotes. And so that's one of the advantages of having that, that 1X magnification, is you can bring it up really fast and be able to take care of things if you need to. And in a tactical situation, same thing. So first, we started out at about 100 yards. Then we moved it out to 200 yards. And here we are consistently hitting at 300 yards. And because the ACSS has everything right there, I don't have to do anything but just look at my reticle, calculate the distance, and fire the shot.
As far as an all-around scope, the 1-6 to to me hits that sweet spot. It's not too big, it's not too long, and yet you can really get accuracy, but yet you can get the CQB. It's just the perfect size. And the price on the Predator is $289.95 on the Primary Arms website. Plus, again, you get the lifetime warranty. And guys, I'll tell you, I've been using the Primary Arms 1-4, to 1-6, to 1-8, to and some of their larger magnified optics. And I have never been disappointed. I mean, for the money, they're just excellent. And guys, I want to thank Primary Arms for sending the 1-6 to ACSS Predator and for their sponsorship. If you're looking for a very capable scope at a medium price range, lifetime warranty, you know, any of the ACSS uh, scopes are excellent, uh, especially for the beginner. You don't have to worry. Everything's on there. And again, with the ACSS, simple is king. And the Predator is Batman approved. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Primary Arms Predator. Predator, 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 Prey, Predator. The Primary Arms Predator, 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 Predator. Now what's the big secret with the ACSS is it's, but the big secret, but the big, you ain't got the moxie. <laughs>